Hey everyone, Canadian Trucker here. Today we are in a town called Portage, Wisconsin. Um, kind of down by Madison. Not too far from Chicago. That's where we loaded this morning. Head back up to Winnipeg. Today for lunch, we got 2018. Mini number 13 cheese tortellini. This has a pack date of 8183, which is July 2nd. Um, so yeah, four years old, almost vegetarian ration here uh, a lot of people hate on vegetarian rations it's just pasta so we got our main cheese tortellini we got trail mix recovery and we also have the vanilla pudding dessert powder we have crackers and chocolate peanut spread and to drink we got orange juice got our frh and spoon hot beverage bag and a hot sauce Accessory pack C, so that's got coffee, creamer, sweetener, toilet paper, moist towelette, and chewing gum, as well as our salt. We'll add our orange drink to 12 ounces of water. And we'll shake her up. So I fought with this uh, ration heater for 10 minutes probably. Did not want to heat up. Now that I took everything out it's burning hot so not sure what the issue was there so I transferred it into a Canadian heater bag which took off almost immediately and it's hot then we got our chocolate peanut spread put that on our crackers not how I'd normally eat that that stuff just eat it right out of the bag but what are you supposed to do with the crackers let's try her out so that stuff's really good. A lot of people compare it to Nutella, which I guess you could compare it, but it, this actually tastes good. I'm not a Nutella fan. Love me some hazelnuts. Love me chocolate spread. Do not like it together. Um, but this here, it's more of a, obviously, peanut butter and chocolate taste, and it's damn good stuff. One substitution I'd make in this, uh, in this meal, I think I'd put cheese spread in, because cheese and crackers, would go a lot better with the uh, cheese tortellini than this stuff. So, yeah, go ahead and wash that down with some orange drink. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> That's as close to tang as you're ever gonna get in a ration. Uh, we'll get into our vanilla dessert. Vanilla pudding dessert powder. It's a mouthful. It's vanilla pudding. For that, you need four ounces of water. No zip on here, so you have to kind of make a couple real good creases. And then shake like hell for 60 seconds. Always be sure to pinch out the corners, get all the powder out of there. Just like that, you have pudding. And there it is. We can save that for dessert. We'll take a look at our trail mix here. I could have swore this replaced the pudding powder, but clearly it didn't. So I'm trying to remember what the trail mix actually replaced because I think I liked whatever else was in here better but I don't remember. There you have it. You got cashews, little pretzel balls, peanuts, and almonds. Let's try one of each. So that's a good mix, even after, you know, four years, still tastes fresh. No old stale nuts here. Um, put her back in the bag, because this one I'm gonna keep for snack for down the road, because I mean, this is a huge ass meal. Now I think I heard there's a new trail mix coming out in 2022 or 2021 that contains beef jerky. Not positive if I heard Sue right, but I think she's the one that was saying that. And if I'm wrong, Sue, please correct me because I'm praying that's not true. Um, beef jerky takes, you know, 30, 40, 50 times as long to chew as say a peanut or a pretzel. So, I mean, that'd just be a mess. Got cheese tortellini. It is hot as hell. Canadian heater bags, never disappoint. Uh, 
There we go. Sort of. Smells a lot like SpaghettiOs. Smells a lot like, you know, the spaghetti and meatballs. Or not meatballs. Meatballs, I guess. Uh, MRE. Elbow macaroni. It's all the same sauce. Let's see what she looks like. There it is. Nice and hot. Cheese tortellini. I say it smells great. I would love this if it had cheese on it. Like, yeah. Try her out. Got a little cross section here. Never wants to freaking zoom in. Yeah, there's some sort of cheese stuffed inside of there. I think something stuffed inside of there kind of a brown color yep anyone can eat this any day of the week um yeah kids adults anyone in between your cat might even like this the only person i know that wouldn't eat this lives out in england but uh if you get one send it back my way if i'm buying us mres nowadays I don't buy full cases. I find there's too many that I don't like or want to eat and sick of trading um, with those things. So I just buy, because nobody wants an MRE. Anybody can get them. So they're useless for trades. And I don't want the tuna fish. I don't want the vegetarian taco pasta crap. Um, so there's about five, six that I will order and I'll get a few of each or whatever. And this is one of them. And because it's vegetarian, doesn't mean it has to be awful. It's just pasta. So our vanilla pudding. This is top two of my favorite MRE components. Number one would be the chocolate version of this. The vanilla is a close second. It's awesome. Only comes in one ration. Many 13 cheese tortellini. So you want this, that's what you got to eat. Or just buy a whole bunch like I did off of uh, off the internet and hoard them because why not it's awesome let's give her a try it's so damn good and you get a lot like you get you know probably two or three pudding cups full it's a decent amount if everyone watching that's tried you know either one of the the pudding powders has anybody not liked it because i think this has got to be a favorite for most people so that was a 2018 menu number 13 cheese tortellini in tomato sauce fantastic rush like i say anybody can eat this if you haven't tried it give it a try you won't be disappointed or you might i don't know i like it thanks for coming everybody we'll see you next time